Hi everyone, in this video I will show why chess openings are really important and why you should learn them. Now to explain why it is necessary I will show you a bullet game of mine and usually in bullet games people don't follow openings which actually cost them a lot and actually a lot of rating points. Now this game started with c4 and the guy responded with c5 it's a terrible move actually because you are not developing any thing and you're just just you are just going for symmetry i guess it's uh, it accomplished nothing you are not developing any piece and it just block other piece from developing like your bishop is now trapped kind of trapped that your bishop cannot now develop I played e3 which is an inaccuracy not a terrible blunder or mistake but it is an inaccuracy I should have played c3 and this is another terrible move because it accomplished nothing you are only opening a path for the queen you should have developed the knight now he developed a knight which is a normal move and I develop a knight as well he played the bishop which is I don't think so is a very good move he should have developed the other knight I strike in the center which is an inaccuracy but I usually play really really fast and I was looking to exchange as much as possible and win on time and this is a terrible blunder he should have taken with a pawn and now his bishop is completely lost he has to give his bishop and look at this I take this take if he retreats I go there and he have to go back now he should have given me this bishop to prevent further losses because now if after he did this my knight can move here and fork the rook and the king and i will win the i will win the rook and i'm completely winning that's a winnable advantage and at this position i when i moved e4 he resigned which is not a good move by me i, I also didn't actually uh, spotted that uh, knight move immediately after I moved this pawn, I spotted that and he resigned. He spotted way earlier than me and he resigned. So now you can clearly see if he actually tried to play uh, according to the opening, he would not have suffered this bad and he would not have resigned on just move 9. Now if I open the analysis board, I played c4 which is actually a preferred opening of stockfish 10 i guess but it's not now is not preferred by stockfish later stockfish and this is a, obviously as i said it was a mistake and because you are not developing any of your pieces and you are just blocking the path of your bishop then i play e3 which is also an inaccuracy but it's nothing bad i developed a knight i developed my other knight I strike in the center just uh, causing a balance and then this is the big mistake losing margin losing margin in a way that you are at least losing a piece and you have to go back I push forward you have to give your bishop otherwise you are just trapping the your rook and he gave me the bishop I didn't immediately spotted it and I played e4 and I am still winning because this is unstoppable. The knight is right now unstoppable. Even after he picked this pawn, I am completely winning even if I try to exchange that. I'm completely winning and 
yeah you are losing just another piece okay this is now really really bad for black so the conclusion is you must have to play openings even if you are playing a bullet match and this was not an ordinary player this player I guess was a he's 1600 blitz not a bad player but he still lost because he didn't played the opening go for gone for the symmetry and that made him lose